everyone. My name is Vanessa and I am the VP of Public Relations for the Multicultural Greek Council. I am excited to share with you more information about the Multicultural Greek Council. Our mission is to promote diversity, communication, and cooperation among, among our member organizations and to advance the ideas of scholarship, service, and unity throughout the greater Oregon State University and Corvallis community. During this presentation, we will share some information about our current member fraternities and sororities, the member experience in an MGC organization, and how you can join if you think MGC is a place for you. Our community is made up of three sororities and one fraternity. Here are some facts about each organization. Our current organizations are Alpha Pi Omega Sorority Incorporated. As a Native American-based sorority, it is APIO's goal to preserve Native American traditions and serve as a support for college women in today's society in their individual journeys. The Queen Bees were founded on July 13, 2013 at Oregon State. Gamma Alpha Omega Sorority Incorporated. Gamma's were the first Latina founded sorority to arrive, to arrive to campus on April 29, 2000. Gamma's exists to promote women in higher education, serve in mentorship programs, and provide a family lifelong support for its members. Kappa Delta Chi Sorority Incorporated. Kappa Delta Chi is a Latina founded sorority which aims to achieve professional development, academic excellence, and the graduation of its members. Katie Chi was founded on April 2, 2011 at OSU and it is also dedicated to community service in the local community. Omega Delta Phi Fraternity Incorporated. This Latina founded fraternity was established on November 6, 1999 at Oregon State. The social service fraternity promotes a diverse fraternal experience which coincides with higher education. It is Odify's goal to graduate its members and serve its community. Now I'm going to turn it over to check it to share some information about what it's like to be a member of an MGC fraternity or sorority. Hello all, my name is Cheke and I'm the current president of the Multicultural Greek Council and I share some facts about our council as well as a bit of bit for my membership experience. All of MGC, MGC chapters are on house, meaning that all chapters operate and host events around campus and often in one or of, of OSU cultural resource centers. As a council, along MPHC, we also hold stroll showcases and new member presentations to show pride for organizations and to welcome new members to the MGC, to the MGC community. MGC chapter sizes are typically smaller, but our groups are always looking to grow. Dues for MGC chapters can range from 200 to 300 per academic year. My personal experience joining a, a Greek organization started as a first generation college student and an immigrant from Mexico. Attending college was a challenge at, as I was new to the country and I didn't know much about college life and its expectations. First, I attended a community college to get my transfer degree and to get a taste of college life. Once I transferred to Oregon State, I found out that I still have more to learn. Thanks to the diverse programs such as camp and trio, I became more aware of opportunities, support groups, and connections around campus. As I was going through my first term, one of the mentors of the trio program introduced me to his MGC fraternity and some of its members. I was glad to find a diverse community with the, value, with the same values and similar experience that as, as I have. Although at the beginning, I was not interested in joining Greek life, the connections that I created with my now brothers and the support that they gave me led me to get more interested in what it does take to be part of this fraternity. I joined, a winter, I joined winter in 2019, and since then, I did not just find my family away from home, I found a lifetime experience and a community to belong not only in my chapter, if not in all MGC community. I will not be more grateful to be part of this great opportunity. Thank you for letting me share a bit about my own MGC experience. And now I'm going to hand it over to Derek to fill you out on how to join an MGC chapter. Hi, my name is Derek and I am VP of Finance and Administration for MGC. I will close this presentation by explaining the joining process for our MGC chapters. Our process is known as membership intake, and in order to participate, you should attend as many council-sponsored programs so you can learn more about our chapters and its members. MGC organizations also host various individual programs and activities on campus that are open to all students. You can introduce yourself at these events or reach out to current members for more information. 
Each chapter will hold their own membership intake process. This process typically consists of weekly meetings where you learn about the organization, getting to know the members, and lastly, a new member presentation. In these presentations, new members typically recite the Greek alphabet, the history and information of their organizations, and perform a unique stroll. Lastly, it is always best to check with individual chapters about their intake process since several MGC organizations do not accept students who do not have an established college GPA. As the fall approaches, we encourage you all to attend our MGC meet and greet event on September 29th at the MU Quad for our first on-campus event, as well as attend our virtual event through Zoom on September 30th. You can find our RSVP form on the MGC link tree. Come participate and let us get to know you. Follow us on Instagram at Oregon State MGC and Facebook at Multicultural Greek Council at Oregon State to connect and for any updates. The Multicultural Greek Council is excited and looking forward to meet you in the fall.